digitization. I think today, uh, if we look at last uh, evolution of the policy last few years, I think it's all moving in the right direction. However, there are uh, certain areas where uh, the policymakers need to relook. You know, for example, policies around um, equipment testing, uh, policies around machine-to-machine um, -machine and IoT, uh, policies around uh, you know, uh, when the telecom gets injected into the vertical industries, you know, how do that horizontal uh, process work? And I think uh, other piece is because right now all the verticals are having silo process and uh, I think stages to come when ICT of the telecoms must cut across the vertical industries. Hence, uh, when you're forming a telecom policy, it has to take care of that. Tomorrow, telecom is going to be part of healthcare. Telecom is going to be part of, for example, finance and logistics and so on and so forth. So it has to be broad-based, then, then only the vertical telecom. First of all, I think digital is real, and I think digital is good. Because if you look at the last couple of years, uh, we saw a lot of disruption that digital created. Uh, and I still believe uh, those players, uh, whether it's uh, technology vendors, whether it's the service providers or system integrators, those who do not embark digitization as the core strategy in their company, they will cease to exist. And those who take digitization as the prime strategy and the, and the prime focus will be the winners in, in the coming era, which I call digital era. So, so I think trends clearly is that uh, I think it's on three folds. First, on the technology side, I think uh, uh, players need to embrace uh, cloud and virtualization. They need to be privy of security uh, being part of everything they do because it's very, very critical. And lastly, analytics, because analytics give them the vehicle and the ability to extract value out of digitization. So, so I think that those are from the technology standpoint. Uh, from a people uh, standpoint, I think there needs to be a huge emphasis on uh, what skills we need in the coming era. I think the, the lot of skills that we have built over the last 10 years may not be relevant at all. So uh, players need to think what kind of roles, what kind of competence I need to succeed in this digital era. And, and the last one is that uh, it is not a wall garden. It is, it's an open um, ecosystem where uh, players need to cooperate with each other. I mean, we've seen in, um, in the old era, you know, when the vast players came in with lots of great ideas, they got stifled under SPs because SP took all the, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, all the money they made in, in the process. But I think in the next era, you have to cooperate, you have to make sure that the food flows through the chain, so the entire chain thrives. Because that gives them impetus to create more innovation and bring in more uh, uh, you know, solutions that create revenue, that help them optimize the networks and make them, make them efficient. Yeah, so as you mentioned, CSPs are emerging more. So what are the initiatives by Cisco so they can evolve? So I think Cisco is a technology player. I think we, we want to be at the edge of uh, technology, bring things that they need not only today but for next five years. So. So I think three things, if I have to pick from Cisco standpoint, uh, that we are promoting. Of course, the first one is uh, automation. Because automation is necessary. It is not a good thing to have. Because automation will help them uh, create you know, self-healing networks. It will help them address the tsunami of data that's getting generated. Because there's no way in hell uh, that you can manage this with people. You need to have. Uh, automation in place that uh, manages this massive amount of data that's getting created. The second piece is security. Security has to be in every part of your architecture. You are, uh, starting from the endpoint up to the core network, you need to have a security wrapper. So because when the critical business applications are, if you're using uh, technology to do a healthcare application, you have to be damn sure that it's 100% correct, it's, the data is penetrating right and it's, it's uh, fully secure for, for consumers and enterprises teams. And, and the last one, of course, is 
getting the organization ready, you know. So for that, we are bringing in lots of certifications, you know, getting operators ready uh, with, uh, with the networking certifications. We are doing certifications around automation and digitization. So, so I think we will work hand in hand with SPs to make sure they're up to speed while they're, you know, automating their networks. They have the workforce, that skill to manage it. What I was uh, telling this morning was that first, we have come to realization as an industry that digitization is a good thing. You know, last, if you look at last year, we were talking about disruption and nuclear came in. Prior to that, we were talking about OTTs, you know, eating our uh, tea and lunch, you know. So, so I think industry has come to a realization. That's why I think I honestly, from core of my heart, congratulated them because there's an optimism. They are embracing digitization. And uh, when you do that, you're getting yourself ready to create the new revenue streams. You know, today, as an industry, as SP industry, it's challenged. You know, we're not um, making enough money to feed the value chain. Uh, but I think the future holds a lot more revenues. I talked about 60, five, $600 billion economic opportunity in India by 2021. And it's a huge amount of money out there to grab. And I think how do you get that money? It is by using this wealth that you created, the networks and the platforms that you created, make them available for vertical industries. And it could be any industry that benefits from digitization. And I think that's where the value creation will uh, happen. For example, if you're entering health industry and you're saying, I'm gonna make health industry 20% efficient, you're talking about multi-billion dollars that you're creating in value and you take piece of that action and you share it with the value chain. Similarly, you can go vertical by vertical. Digitization makes those verticals efficient. I think you've seen in India what's happened to e-commerce. You've seen Uber coming in and the local players coming in. They're making consumer us efficient. Uh, they're giving you better value for money and there is no wastage of time in the process. So, so that's what digitization will do to every industry. It will create so much value which is wasted today and I think SPs are in a central pole position to capture the value.